Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, last few weeks I've taken all kinds of little brief videos fully intended on uh, uploading them after uh, doing some editing and one thing led to another and so I haven't posted in the last few weeks but I'm going to do a little bit of a compilation today and I'm going to chat with you a little bit about what I've been doing while we feed uh, the two alligator snapping turtles. A little guy there, a little guy right there, some uh, tilapia strips and I'm going to clean up their uh, enclosure a little bit. As you can see, there's all kinds of uh, hyacinth leaves and there's uh, lilies in here that they, they, they love chewing apart for some reason. Let's see if I can do this without getting nailed. They definitely uh, will chew on vegetation. I imagine they are certainly eating some of it, but of course, no uh no substitute for some some meats so make sure you guys can see that without a glare so what are they, what kind of videos have i been taking the last few weeks so tiamat laid some eggs and i took all kinds of videos of her being in there and and me recovering the eggs and Sorry, hard to do this with one hand. Came home for lunch. And Tiamat had laid some eggs. So now, the objective is to recover them. Come here, pretty girl. Look at how skinny she is. I think my camera's fogged up a little bit. Let's see if I can fix that. Being in the house. I think what I'm gonna do is take this outside. Probably be the best way to do it. All right, so I'm gonna set this camera down a second and be right back. Uh, uh, hopefully some of the, most of these are good. I'm gonna Some vermiculite prepared. Twenty-nine eggs. I don't know. Maybe a little more than half of them look good. Just crossing our fingers. Get them in the incubator. Yeah, some of these, even some of these white ones, are awful mushy. It's never a good sign, but some of them are, seem firm. And then we'll leave these guys over here, so I don't want any standing water on them. Uh, all right ah, not as uh good as what i was hoping as far as obvious obviously uh for legs because they are not obvious to me some of them anyway But the incubators set at about 85, fluctuates between 84.6 and 85 point whatever. Let's see. Uh, not an old egg. Got some one, there's nothing in that one. I believe I got a little guy in there. In there. And this is my water. And this 
this is just a cup of, of the container of distilled water. Alright, there we go. Hopefully I get a few eggs hatch. Unfortunately, all the eggs went bad. Three clutches in a row, all infertile. I don't know what's up with that. If anybody has any experience with iguanids, specifically Honduran spiny tail iguanas, and have any idea, is it, is it Bosk not doing his job? Is it something going on with her? I mean, husbandry is the same. I just don't know what's up. What else have I done? I've taken a bunch of videos of uh, feeding the night anoles and the false chameleons out in the uh, outdoor, uh, outside uh, patio here. Uh, I've done uh, super worms, I've done crickets, I've done some uh, grub pie. So it's some, uh, share with you guys some of those videos.
There you go. Cuban false chameleon drinking standing water. Not everybody takes stuff off of tweezers or tongs, but most of them will. Everybody's doing pretty good out there. Got a, got a few eggs. And uh, also, uh, Indy laid some eggs. She laid them and I recovered them at night. And it turns out though, some of them have some small cracks, but they're all in the incubator and seem to be doing okay. Nothing's going rotten on me, nothing's spoiling, so as long as, uh, as long as they're not stinking and going rotten, they're going to stay in the incubator. Okay. So Andy's been out here for several hours now, and this is what we got. We got some. Got at least one broken egg there. Trying to get this tripod to work. And several eggs. Oh my gosh. Well, that one's broken and then obviously this guy's broken and that one looks beautiful so I'm putting some in the nest box and we got that guy who's broken what else do we have in this hole? Okay. That guy looks beautiful. And there's a broken one. That guy looks beautiful. What else do we have in this hole? guy looks good and oh looks like we might have another one that looks really really good a little poo that guy looks good all right let's see what else we got That guy looks really good. So that's six really, really good looking eggs. Uh, okay. So, I'll let you guys look down in this hole. So obviously those are not good. And it looks like the hole is clear. That's a shell right there from one of the broken ones. 
Indy is still going through some uh, movement with her hind legs. So one, two, three, four that have broken. One, two, three, four, five, six good ones. Here's the four original that I got that I'm not sure if are fertile. This one was, she laid a week after these four, but these six look beautiful compared to these guys, her first ones ever. So, hey beautiful girl, maybe we'll get lucky with these six, but um, these guys aren't smelling or anything. I candled them, I couldn't tell anything. That one looks like it's got a crack in it, but it looks good otherwise. All right, some eggs from Indy. Hey, beautiful. I'm sorry to disturb you while you're going through the motions here. I'm gonna let her be for the rest of the night. But those are four bad ones right there. Okay. And of course, we we fed Bosk and Tiamat some uh, some grub pie and uh, hung out with them a little bit. Iguanas. Oh, oh, don't you go jumping out on me. Ah, oh, come on, Lucky. Over here. Over here. Come on. Come on. There we go. One more, and we'll get to Boss and Tiamat. Some fresh water in a minute. <sighs> you think these guys know what time it is? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come on. Oh yeah, team Matt. Oh. Alright. Where's Tia Matt? Is she gonna come get some? There she Oh, oh, that's my finger. <laughs> no! Tia Matt. Good night. I think she's hungry. Wow. <laughs> Come on, let's get some of the bosk. Easy. Get this piece right here. Last chunk. Boss, I'm gonna give this to Tia, Matt. She's still regaining her strength. Oh, never mind, I'll give it to you. Whew. All right. What you got on your nose, buddy? Calcium from the Missouri. Hi, guys. Oh. Goodbye. Whew. Awesome. So, we we'll do some uh, time lapses, some compilations, a little bit of music. Let's give this guy his second piece. It's a little bit of calcium coming off of it. I supplement uh, when I'm out outdoors with some calcium. But they are doing excellent. Just suck it right on down. Let's thaw it out a couple hours. Mm -hmm. 
So anyways, as we're nearing the end of summer, I figured I'd just go ahead and do a real quick video for you guys of what I've been doing the last few weeks. Uh, Suncatcher's doing awesome. This thing's doing awesome. Uh, everybody's doing good. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna rearrange the lizard room inside the house a little bit. Gotta clean up the garage. Uh, the gator snappers, my intention is to have them out in the garage. I believe I'm gonna attempt to keep the pair of Russian tortoises outdoors. Uh, maybe in the deep winter when it gets down, you know, below freezing, I will uh, either bring them into the garage in a non-heated area. But this is all preliminary planning, but I've got to do some rearranging with the lizard room in the garage to make all that stuff happen. But anyways, that's it for now. Uh, until next time, you guys take care.